This is my new idea for a permanent magnet engine. A single cylinder engine with a metal piston, not a magnet, just a metal piston, and two magnets whose poles are divided from the positive and negative center. You can see this is a max switch. Max switch is a technology to turn off and on a permanent magnet. And you can see this test about turning on and off a magnet, a permanent magnet. So we can use this to a permanent magnet engine and these two magnets on the top of the cylinder. Two magnets whose poles are divided from the positive and negative center. And when they rotate on each other, in the lower part, the magnet force turn on and off. The mechanism. When the crankshaft rotates, the side shaft is connected to the crankshaft by gears. And it just starts to rotate. At the top, it is connected to the magnet by gears. And it rotates in sync with the crankshaft. When the steel piston is at bottom dead center, the so-called magnet is on and attracts the piston. And when it reaches top dead center, the magnet is turned off or neutralized in coordination with a crankshaft. And when the magnet is turned off, the piston goes down by the inertial force of the crank. And the flywheel can also be considered for that. And this cycle repeats and the engine turns on and it stops working with a magnet. Here you can see that a permanent magnet can be activated and deactivated with a simple switch. And here you can see the sensitivity of the magnet which is completely disabled in all direction when the magnet is off. I want to use this engine to create a prototype of a magnetic motor. This approach is suitable because the current engine likes magnetic piston and we need to use a metal piston for this prototype. Our goal is simply to attract the piston using magnet. We don't need a magnetized piston, we only want to use magnets to attract the piston, like this. Since the current piston is made of aluminum, we'll replace it to determine if it's suitable for a magnetic motor. I need to totally inspect every details. Additionally, we have one magnet, but we require two separate magnets each one have a positive side and negative side separate half. These two magnets will be positioned together. Therefore, we'll need to gear similar to this. I'm considering remove the cooling system plate for the cylinder in this engine. I'm considering the complete replacement of the cylinder, but I'm not certain about it at the moment. Two gears, although not one picture, these are for testing and review purposes. When they are in use, they will be positioned here like this with a shaft, gear holder and gear box connecting and gear box connecting to the crankshaft. Everything should synchronize properly. I've also noted some friction in this engine, it's possible that I might build a new cylinder and a complete engine using a 3D printer. I'd like to emphasize that the content presented in my video represent a research endeavor and not a final product or a definitive achievement. This work is an ongoing exploration and while I've made an effort to uncover potential innovation. It remains a working process. The aim here is not to present to finish invention, but to share my journey of exploration and experimentation. I hope you'll join me in this process of discovery as we continue to delve into the possibilities. And finally, jump into the comments and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to check out one of the ones I've linked to right here. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification. 
As always, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I will see you in the next one.